because he broke so many of Kyler Murray's Texas high school football records, but you talk about dynamic, and then you add this Dana Holgerson offense. This is as fun and exciting of a quarterback as a player to watch in college football. He'll keep it here with Kyle Porter blocking, mm. and a toss late downfield to Marquez Stevenson. His top target, the border on play one, puts the coach on top. What a start here in New Orleans, Adam. Everybody talked about De'Ara King being a runner. The two-lane defense knew that. It almost felt like he was going to do it. Then he pulls up and drops a dime to Marquez Stevenson to start in an electrifying fashion, Matt. Said it, he can do it all. You got to honor him as a runner. It looks like a run. He tucks it under his arm. He's got three points of pressure. Then he pulls back as a passer and throws to his top target. The rush just four. Forcing King out of the pocket. Stops and fires. Mm. And Trayvon Bradley reaching out mm. near midfield. What a play. No left handed quarterbacks in the NFL. Is that real? The righty deer. Tips and overthrows, got to get those. That's a difference maker in the game. You're playing a talented, explosive offense. You need the ball to bounce your way. The ball is not round. You need chances. A fake to Bradwell. The lefty McMillan fires. End zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Jalen McCleskey. The transfer from Oklahoma State going up top. Five yards on it, it's third down and five, and Tulane breaks pressure. King dumps it off, he's got Bryson Smith, and he was able to maneuver past the sticks. Yeah. Instead of just running it, found his guy, picked up a first down. Now we got guys breaking tackles here. That's Patrick Carr, the transfer from Colorado. Five yards, we need him down the line, can't be taking a big shot. I respect it, understand it. Now he's coming around the outside. Speed burners for Marquette Stevenson. Tiptoeing down the line inside the three. You're now forgiven for your drop. Goal line defense, big bodies on big bodies. Kyle Porter going airborne. Tyler. He's in for the touchdown. The thing that matters is trying to get up two scores. Fifth Houston drive of the opening quarter begins with a Kyle Porter run across the 40 yard line. First down for Houston, and it's Kyle Porter again making a man miss into the open field and inside the 30 up two lane. And a quick strike to Keith Corbin. And Keith Corbin is into the end zone for a two touchdown Cougar lead. That was too easy. Whenever you've got the run game going like that, it really opens up everything else. They're scared of Kyle Porter, and then that pass is just a wide open touchdown for the kid. He's going to do it with some completions. One for six is McMillan until that one. McCleskey lost the football. Big hit by Deontay Anderson, and the Cougars take over. Now, obviously, they're going to the determine catch. whether or not Fumble. this is an incompletion or a completion. It is going to be ruled initially as a completion and a fumble, and Houston takes over. What a hit by Anderson. Third down for Houston. Safety blitz coming. De'Aaron King makes a miss. And he's got the first down. And he might have the record if he can get to the end zone. Just like that. He has set the new FBS record 15 consecutive games with a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown. De'Ara King by himself in the history books with that 35-yard score for a touchdown. Anytime you pass Timothy Tebow on a record book for college football, you know you have done something special. Very small amount of time, how to make the right decision. He's going to run it here and step out of bounds near the 40. Busted out and gets loose. It's going for six. McMillan being chased, puts it up the field, has some blockers in front, and he runs for another first down inside the 30. So the lawyers going to score here too late. That's right. True. They're turning up tonight for the two lane green wave. Darius Bradwell making man miss, and he sets up first and goal for the green wave. Here comes Stephon Hutterson, cutting it up, and he is in for the touchdown. First touchdown in two years for the junior from Mississippi. He's running the 
wheel route. Not the baton. King dancing, cutting, still looking downfield. Wide open man, and it's incomplete. Keith Foreman was sitting by himself, and King could not connect with him, and it's fourth down. So much magic there in track and field, but that one sailed right, and now we're going to field it. Dalton Witherspoon. Kind of lifting his head up a little bit, hit it fat. These two teams in conference for recruiting. A whole lot on the line tonight. And Amari Jones with an excellent return. He'll take it out across the 40-yard line. McMillan will hand it off for Bradwell. Looked like he had enough for the first down, and indeed he does. Play action fake. McMillan, deep shot for the speedy Darnell Moody. What a play. The last time they connected was a touchdown. This time a massive first down for the two-lane green wave after they're being backed up with a great play. And now Bradwell with a good run for four on first down. 14 of them came against Oklahoma. That's a lot. Dauphine's got a lot of space. Nice block on the perimeter by Moody. Dauphine breaking tackles down to the 25. Not a sponsor yet, maybe soon. McMillan. Touchdown to Lane! A point away from tying this game! What a play by Justin McMillan. Took some accountability in the third quarter for an overthrow or two and has bounced back in a fantastic fashion. Sees that the University of Houston defense might be a little bit fatigued. Gives it to himself, rolls out, sprints into the end zone. One extra point away from a tie game here in the fourth quarter. How about this Tulane team? Willie Fritz has them mentally tough, down 28-7, to overcoming penalties that they've done to themselves, getting away from the passing game. You can sub out on offense, you can't sub out on defense. King looking, and he's wrapped up and brought down by Nick Anderson. We just heard him talk about his 11th grade teacher. Nick Anderson comes up with a massive play on third down. Big field goal try from 48. This would tie the longest attempt of Dalton Witherspoon's career. This to try to give them the lead. I saw him hitting warm ups. He has a big leg. The two lane crowd is coming alive. Good snap, good hold. Missed it, wide, left, no good. It's now nine offensive penalties against Tulane. Darius Bradwell gets that penalty yardage back. Pinky start, just a three-man rush. McMillan to the sticks for a first down. He finds Katavian Tolls. Strike. Found some dryness on the hands and delivered the ball right between the numbers. Blitz from Houston. McMillan for Moody. Again! Could not hold on! Perfect play call. Perfect throw. Tough catch. Darnell Moody is not able to come up with it. Sometimes when you're running 4-4, you're running fast. That's a tough catch. A little arm bar by the defender. 44-yard drive for Merrick Glover. This would tie his career long that he drilled against Auburn two weeks ago. You see the kicker on the other side and his two kicks. Now it's your time to step up for your team. Glover to deliver the lead. And he has put Tulane in front for the first time tonight. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. The first time you're
your team has been on ESPN to knock down a 40-some yard kick. What a big moment for that kick. Great snap, great hold, great rotation. Hit it off his toe a little bit, so it's on the right side. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we love those types of refs for the brand, I'll tell you that. If he's going to give them that right over top of the upright, we will take it. No inch left behind when it comes to field goal kicking. <laughs> On second down, Mulma Carr in front of De'Ara King, who's got the first down. De'Ara King has been in big moments his entire... King, deep shot. Looking for a man, and it's forced out of bounds. Looking for Marquez Stevenson, and Larry Brooks has been up to the task multiple times tonight. That was incredible defense. Matt Hasselbeck ran stride for stride with him, picked him up and carried him out of bounds just a couple inches. Tulane brings the heat. King on the move. King looking for Corbin, and Larry Brooks breaks it up again. Fourth and nine from the 48. Here comes the pressure. De'Ara King, a lot of green grass in front of him, and he's got the first down with his feet. When you've got a player like De'Ara King playing quarterback for you, and it's a massive moment, Dana Holgerson said, hey, Bob, we know you can make a play with your feet. Where, where this great running quarterback is at it every time. And he's right down inside the 25-yard line, down to the 21, 11 more yards for King. Strong disagree. First and 10, De'Ara King seeking space, and he's down inside the five-yard line, second down coming up. Handoff, Patrick Carr, nothing there. Jamiron James, the redshirt freshman from here in New Orleans, makes the stop, and a timeout is called from Tulane, their last timeout. And King to throw. End zone for Corbin. It is incomplete. Could not hold on. Fourth down, and a chance to tie it potentially for the Cougars. I mentioned no safeties deep, cover zero. We're daring you to throw it. Make them earn it. Here we go, missed opportunity. Dalton Witherspoon, talk to us, Pat. You missed too early. You have to get that out of your mind because your team needs you. You trained all off season for this moment. You practiced every single rep. The Tulane crowd is losing their mind when you step up and show out for your team, Dalton Witherspoon. The tie-in. And this time he coolly connects to tie this game with 21 seconds to go. So impressed with his mental toughness. Missed a chippy early, missed another one, but with 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter, his team needed him to make it. He drives it through and hits the All-State hand. I love their stories. I love their heart. I love the fact that we get to see both these guys in action. Oh, it's a trick play! Amari Jones! Trick play! Oh, they fooled him! And he works it out near midfield! I love everything about that. Coach Fritz is an old school guy, and he absolutely he dokes them. Oh my goodness! Amari Jones out of the pack with it. Now and we he picks 12, up 18. Now we have 12 seconds left on the clock with the timeout for the two-lane green wave. Eight back in coverage for Houston. McMillan. Launches down the middle for McCluskey, and it breaks free! Jalen McCluskey, touchdown! Touchdown! They take the lead with three seconds left! Every player on the Tulane Greenway football team is spreading down to the corner to celebrate with Jalen McCluskey. Flags are down, who cares? What a tire for McCluskey making a big play! some yards. Then Justin McMillan finds his boy Jalen McCleskey who transferred here from Oklahoma State to play for the team his dad coaches for on ESPN. The heroics, the insanity, what a finish. He's going to have to kick about a 50-yard extra point with all the 15-yard penalties. <laughs> Word. Two plays, 
71 yards, 15 seconds. Incredible two-play sequence. The trick and then the treat to McCleskey. Well, they drop in it. There's almost nowhere to throw the ball. It's late down the middle. You got him. I got him. No one's got him. McCleskey. We said in the open we wanted him to show up. Only four catches on the season. He showed up tonight with his second touchdown catch. This is one he will remember forever. I think everyone in this stadium will remember this play forever. Down as quick as possible. The way this game is going, I would say this game is not over. Never mind, we're going to annexation of Puerto Rico this thing. Stevenson trying to circle around. Marquez Stevenson, a penalty marker is thrown. Still on the move, gets a block, taken down, we'll have to check the flag. But if it stands, what a night and what a win for Tulane. Let's check the flags. Jersey, number 89. on Thursday night here in New Orleans. I cannot be more excited for this Tulane fan base who has had six winning seasons in 37 years. The American Conference opener at home to win like that can do a lot of great things for the organization. Incredible. They trail by 21 in the second quarter. They come all the way back. Houston tied it. And the green wave with three seconds to go win it on the McCleskey touchdown. 38-31. Molly McGrath on the field when you come back. Sports Center coming up in 15 seconds.